All right, so this video is sponsored by Asus. Special thanks to them for making this possible. What we're talking about today is Wi-Fi, specifically the Wi-Fi in my and Wifey Sauce's home. I've been pretty happy with the Wi-Fi here for the most part, I'd say about 80% of the time, but that other 20% is largely in part because we have a growing number of internet or Wi-Fi connected devices in the household. And we have a much larger house than we used to have at my grandparents' place where we only really occupied half of the home really. So just like a lot of other households, I'm sure, we have this increasing need to expand our wireless network to make it reach in further pockets of the home and for it to be faster as well as we have more and more uh, devices at our disposal. And let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So right now we're in the far northeast corner of the home and this is our, our current router, the Asus Blue Cave. We've actually had this a couple years now and it's been great. But now that we have a larger home and many more connected devices, it's like I said, cutting it about 80% of the time. So let me just give you a quick tour. I've kind of set things up for the purpose of this little demo that we're doing here. So this is me and the wife's bedroom. It's, it's kind of messy. She'll hate me for putting this in the video. But uh, you can see I've got some Amazon Prime streaming here at 1080p and it's it's looking pretty fresh. The playback looks pretty smooth and doesn't look like there's really any issues here. Of course, this out of all the devices in this little demo is the closest one to the router. Let's go ahead over here into the studio where you'll find Hotline just chilling. Hey there, baby. She's streaming two 4K 60fps YouTube videos at the moment and it's also looking pretty good. All right, let's, let's carry on. Let's just keep going down the house here. Now, this is the family room by the entryway of the house. This is, we're about midway through the house at this point. And you can see I've got another 4K stream going here from Netflix. No complaints, very, very smooth playback once again. But then our final area of the house, no real connected devices in the kitchen or dining room, but in the living room in the back here, yet again, two more 4K 60 FPS streams on YouTube that are also looking very clean. Actually, no issues there. The only thing that's really being held up at this point is my phone. You barely just missed it. It wasn't actually playing for a second there. You can see that there's a bit of buffering here. If I just skip to a different point in the video that hasn't already been buffered, you can see that it's just kind of chilling there because we just don't have the bandwidth and the efficiency needed to actually drive all the streams that are in this house right now. So like I said, most of the time, this is not a problem because it's just my wife and I, and even though we have a lot of devices, there's only two people. However, occasionally we do have guests come over and they all have their phones. They'll connect to our Wi-Fi network and it's at some point, it eventually caps and things slow down. Someone's not getting video. It's especially important for us because we live by a mountain where a lot of people just don't have good cell reception here, regardless of the carrier that they're using. So all of these little issues kind of pile up to be a larger problem that we're gonna solve today. Hopefully. So we're gonna actually try to remedy our problem today with a couple of these RTAX88U routers from Asus. Asus was the first to come to the market actually with an AX mesh solution. So we're actually gonna be setting up a mesh network today with the AX standard, 802.11ax. Now this is a vast improvement over AC for a number of reasons. First of all, we're getting much faster speeds. The ceiling is much higher with AX because the channels are a lot wider. There's more bandwidth available. But I would say even more importantly than that, especially for our needs today, is that the efficiency has been much improved with how the data is transmitted between the access point and all the clients. So for example, we've got this handy little acronym OFDMA, which is uh, basically a way to take the channels and split them into a bunch of smaller channels so they can handle data transmission to a number of devices independently and simultaneously, as opposed to dealing with them in a sequential order one at a time. We've also got multi-user MIMO, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, but it's even more efficient on AX because now we can actually address multiple devices at the same time, whether you're downloading or uploading. And we also have some stuff on the back here, more stuff about bandwidth, security, security. This thing has some great security features like AI Protection Pro, which automatically updates your security signatures on a regular basis just, just to protect your data. We also have gaming features, of course. QoS is an integrated technology that basically is packet prioritization, so you never slow down, you never get uh, thrown off your game from other devices being connected in the home. We also have WT Fast, which I think is a clever marketing term because you've got WTF if you cover up the S. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. This basically seeks out the shortest route between your, your PC and a game server so that it reduces your ping and your in your lag time. Very nice to have on board if you're a hardcore gamer and you just don't have the option to, to wire directly. Uh, and then also speeds, AX is fast is basically all that says. Now I'm not a networking geek by any stretch, but I am super excited to get this mesh network up and running, especially since it's gonna be with the new AX standard. So the way that the, the mesh network is actually gonna work is that one of the routers is gonna be uh, replacing the blue cave uh, and that's gonna have to be connected directly to our modem. But the other router we can just kind of put anywhere 
anywhere as sort of a wireless satellite. I'm thinking in the polar opposite corner of the house, or at least in just this, this room in general. That way we get full house coverage and we'll even have really good coverage in the backyard because it's a fairly large backyard as well. I did do a test. I, I stood right, right here trying to stream a uh, Paul's hardware video and it worked okay, it worked just fine. But as soon as I stood like right there, just a couple feet over, the connection just died. Like it kicked us from the network and everything. So I have very high hopes that this solution here will fix all of our Wi-Fi woes, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Ready to do it, boy? You ready? You ready, boy? Is the Wi-Fi cat ready? Oh, he is testing out the wares. Yes. Our kitty overlords have deemed this product worth stepping on. All right, let's hop to it. All right, we're in the office now, and you can see we've got two routers powered up. They're not connected to the internet just yet. Before you actually get started setting up a mesh network, you have to ensure that both routers are running the latest firmware. So I've already updated the firmware by simply connecting them to uh, one of my PCs and then uh, updating it through the ASUS website. Then once that's good, uh, you can actually connect one of the routers via ethernet to your PC. And once you do that and open up a browser, you should be greeted with this page. We're gonna go into advanced settings and set up a mesh network. So uh, it says choose operation mode here. I'm gonna click that and it says AI mesh right there. So that's obviously what we want. It says the AI mesh system is composed of ASUS routers. One router will become the AI mesh router and you can add additional AI mesh nodes to expand your network. Sounds good. And then it asks if you wanna make this device the primary router or the AI mesh node. Uh, we're gonna go with the router first and we'll set up the other router as the node when we're ready. So I'm gonna add my SSID and password really quick. Once that's all entered, you can click apply. Here it just looks like they're asking if we wanna enable 802.11 AX HE frame support with a little note here that's uh, some wireless adapters may have issues connecting to uh, AX access points, but we're gonna go ahead and say, okay. Okay, it looks like it wants us to add some credentials here. Okay, now we're into the main control center here. So it looks like we've more or less set up our first device as the primary router in our mesh network successfully. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the second router and assign this as the node. And there should only be a couple steps left after that. Pull our broadband connection, plug it into our node router and take Another ethernet cable, it's from our PC, and boom. So now we can set up the second device as our node. So choose operation mode, we're still gonna want AI mesh, obviously. And now we wanna set it up as a node. So now it's telling us to reset the node and then place it next to our primary router. Uh, and then we can reconnect the router to our PC. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And now we can go ahead and connect our PC to the router. As you can see, I moved both of our ethernet cables that were just plugged into the node back over to the primary router. And uh, notice that the node is still powered on both devices are powered on and if all is done correctly we should be brought to this screen sign in with your asus router account which we created just a moment ago and we're back in the control panel with this pop-up that says do you want to add this ai mesh node to your ai mesh system why yes i do and then it looks like it's doing something here find ai mesh node okay so it's searching for it i think the manual does say to keep the routers as close together as possible initially for the setup process and there it goes slowly but surely it'll detect our node and add it to the mesh network. We'll give it a moment here. All right, so after a couple minutes, if all goes smoothly, you should see this pop-up that says we've successfully added our node to the AI mesh system. It says it should take a while to show up as connected in the AI mesh router list. And it also suggests that you place your node between your AI mesh router and your existing dead zone and try to place it somewhere high and open in your home. It also says you can connect your router and your node together with an ethernet cable if you wanted to for, for extra stability. Although that's a bit more complicated with the distance that we're trying to cross here. So we're gonna ignore that for now. All right, it looks like we've got one act AI mesh node and there it is, beautiful. Now it's also worth noting that the test you're about to see, specifically the, the Wi-Fi test on our living room PC is using an 802.11 AC Wi-Fi adapter, not AX because AX adapters are just not available at the time of filming. This is shot before the Ryzen 3000 series launch, before uh, X570 boards were available. Of course, X570 boards do support um, 802.11 AX, AKA Wi-Fi 6, but those are just not available right now. So having said that, let me know if you guys would be interested in a follow-up video where I actually test our AX mesh network with an X570 board to see the full benefits of the new standard. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy on the other side of the house where the dead zone is, and then we'll give it a whirl. By the way, I also have our same streaming setup that I showed at the beginning of the video. Two more streams on that PC, one more there, two more 4K60s, and my phone. Uh, you can see here that we're actually getting perfectly smooth playback. No choppiness, no, uh, no buffering. Okay, let's just skip to another. Yep, it just kind of plays instantly. This was not happening whatsoever for us uh, with the blue cave. 
Yay, everything's working great. And here's a look at where I put the other router. Asus says to put it in a high space if possible, somewhere that's open. I tried to elevate it a little bit. So between these two routers, we have whole house coverage and I'll actually do the uh, the same test that I did earlier as well. So we're gonna take this out outside. We gotta fire up a pause harder video just to keep things consistent, you know? Okay, I'm actually at the far corner of the backyard now. I'm actually a bit further away than I even was previously. And you can see we're, we're having no issues. Stream in Paul. Let me skip ahead here. Instantly loads. Woohoo! Paul, you've never looked so good. I think the demo pretty much speaks for itself. I mean, I wasn't really able to stream much of anything on this phone while all the other streams in the house were going on. But now it seems totally fine. We have full coverage, not just in the house, but in the entire backyard as well. I think the last thing I wanna do is show you guys just a before and after Wi-Fi speed test. We actually have speedtest.net pulled up. I did run the numbers with the Blue Cave and we were getting around 66, 67 down and about 25 up. And I know that's not terrible for everyone. A lot of households don't even get close to those speeds, but for our specific needs, we've definitely started to feel a need for more speed and throughput and everything. So uh, with that said, why don't we go ahead and see what we're getting now. Holy. Okay, okay, I can, I can work with that. <laughs> okay, we went from, oh my God. Dang, I, I was expecting it to be good, but that's that's phenomenal. We were from 66 to 250 megabits per second down. Holy moly. And the up went from 25 to 91. So if you guys were just looking for some straight data, uh, there you go. That's, that's awesome. So I guess in summary, my first experience with 802.11ax and mesh Wi-Fi was a huge success. Huge thanks to Asus for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check out these routers, I'll put some links in the description below. But that's all for me, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching. Toss a like on the video. If you enjoyed it, it helps a lot. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon, and I will see you all in the next video.